Hi, in this video, I will show you how to install a spell checker for Internet Explorer. Now, I know that sounds easy, oh, I could find my own spell checker, but you know what? There's a good one, and there's a not so good one out there. So there's one that I already installed. Let me just show you real quick. I'm working on this article for Simply Editions. And right here, look, I'll just misspell a word, I'll just type in whatever. And it doesn't really do anything. I mean, to use this one, I have to go to Tools and basically, you know, click on it, which is fine, you know, but I wanted something, something that works like Chrome. What I need is on-the-fly checking, okay? So, I installed the other one and I am not happy with it. So, I'm going to actually remove it. There we go. IE spell from Red Egg Software. Okay, so what we will install is something called Specky. S P E C K I E. And you can find it at downloads.com. Okay, so I'm going to drop it in here. So let me minimize this. So once you install Specky, fire up Internet Explorer and what you are going to get is a pop-up message on the bottom. And the pop-up message is actually just going to ask you to enable Specky. And what you have to do after that is actually close Internet Explorer one more time and then reopen it. And finally, Specky will be fully operational. Look at this. This is on the fly spell checking. If you make a mistake, it underlines it right away. You right click it, you can add to the dictionary. Usually it gives suggestions, like for this, it gave a suggestion. Awesome! I definitely recommend you get Specky. If you do any type of blogging or web editing and you use Internet Explorer, to me it's almost priceless because, I mean, what are you going to do? Are you going to copy this text and paste it into Microsoft Word and spell check it? And then you can have formatting problems if you're using the what you see is what you get editor. So go ahead and download Specky. It's a great tool for Internet Explorer. It checks your spelling on the fly. You don't have to, you know, go to tools and enable it. It works on the fly. It's awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like how-to videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I promise, little by little, your life will be a little sweeter. Take care.